to adapt or not to adapt? That is the micro SD question. Today we'll be taking a quick look at whether or not micro SD cards should be used with a full size SD adapter or without. <laughs> Memory cards, my friends, something so small yet so important for us here at the studio and probably for you in your daily lives. We have full-sized SD cards for cameras and micro SDs for GoPros, also technically cameras, Jack, but you know, you tried. Some of us even use micro SD cards in our cell phones. Don't know the difference between a full-size SD and a micro SD? Well, we've covered that topic before, so you can click here for that video. Now, a few days ago, Julia asked us if there was a difference between using a full-size adapted, so you put it in there, just a little something like that, card versus just plugging in a micro SD card to your reader natively. We unfortunately did not have a definitive answer for her. We had a theoretical one. It should be exactly the same, but we use our full-size SD cards a lot more often than we do our micro SD cards, so the thought never really crossed our minds. This quick video was to document the voyage of discovery that we went on to find out. So we have here today one Kingston external USB 3 card reader and seven various cards that are stored in this Tic Tac container. Huge thanks to Tic Tac for this. Excellent. No, actually Tic Tac had nothing to do with it anyway. The point is all of these cards were lying around the office for use in the devices that we use. So we have cards from Adata to Patriot to SanDisk and even found a random generic 8 gig class 10 micro SD that has absolutely no branding on it whatsoever. So for the benchmarking procedure, Jack used Is My HD OK and Crystal Disk Mark and tested the micro SD cards with the adapter and then without the adapter, which is pretty much the whole point of this video, so it's a good thing he did that. To try and keep things on an even playing field, he used the same full-size adapter for all the cards, one from Patriot. So here are the numbers. From the results, well, they're all pretty much the same. There is barely a difference in read and write speeds when it comes to micro SDs versus micro SDs inserted with an adapter, but more than 85% of the results do show that the speeds are just a bit faster maybe when micro SDs are used with a full size adapter versus as standalone. The difference is negligible, however, so you pretty much take the results with a bit of a grain of salt because we don't really consider this to be, you know, within, it's, we consider it to be within the margin of error. So the too long didn't read, if you're the type of person who wants to, you know, skip to the end of a video for a TLDR because that totally happens, um, is that it, appears based on these seven cards that we managed to get better performance with a full size adapter, but whether that's something to do with the two different slots on the card reader, we actually still don't know. So thanks for coming along with us on this voyage of discovery. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos like this from NCIX.com.